welcome to my favorite fragrances of 2022 video. So this is where I keep the majority of my fragrance collection and before anybody makes a comment down below, I know I'm not supposed to have my fragrances out close to a window. Typically I keep the blinds and my makeup room closed, um, but I am currently looking for a better way to store them so that I can preserve them longer. So I do know I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. If we move over here, I have some additional fragrances here and then over here. So yeah, this is where I keep my fragrances. Um, like I said, I am currently trying to figure out what's a better way to store them. And just, you know, while we're here, if you'd like to leave some feedback, I'm so open to it. I have this storage down here and I'm wondering, should I get bins and then put my fragrances in there and take these books out because the books at the bottom I can keep elsewhere and then the items that I have in these two shelves I can definitely find another place for them so leave me your thoughts but let's get into my favorite okay guys this is going to be a very hard video for me to do because when I say I love these fragrances I truly love them I've tried to narrow it down we've got a lot I can't even like do a top 10 because I love them for different reasons so we're just going to go through all right first let's start off with some more affordable fragrances why don't we so moving y'all over here, I have these three fragrances by the company called Dime. So if you've never heard of Dime Beauty, they are a clean beauty brand and I love their skincare. I have repurchased their um, Hyper Glow Hyaluronic Acid Serum multiple times. I have tried a lot from Dime and they're really an amazing company. They make really great quality clean products for a very affordable price so and just to let you all know you don't have to use it but i do have a 20 percent off discount code i'll leave that in the description box below that you can use on their website okay so they created fragrances and along with their clean brand they wanted to create fragrances without alcohol so my favorite has been this one called seven summers i did get this one this year i have used it a lot but also i did spill some so but i mean prior to spilling it i probably had used all of this so there are three fragrances that I love and in the order that I love them I would probably say seven summers and then we have Malibu nights and then I L Y S B which stands for I love your smell baby so these are amazing they also have a new one I forgot what it's called but it's supposed to be a dupe for MFK Baccarat 540 I have smelled it because I did purchase it I ended up giving it to my sister I would say it's a it's a pretty close dupe as well but these three are my absolute favorites all three of them in my opinion smell like summer so I wear these a lot in the summer and you could wear them now during the daytime if you like those like fresh I, I call them like fresh breezy fragrances they do last all day and um they're not overbearing scents at all seven summers is truly a summer scent and, and and i'm not good with notes in terms of like memorizing what the notes are but it definitely smells um very sweet we've got we've got some warmth in there as well so this is a really great one for i would say like summertime yeah they're, i'm smelling them all and i'm like yeah they're all either daytime scents or like springy summer scents in my opinion. So I really do love Dime Beauty and their fragrances. I would most definitely suggest you give them a try. Okay, I'm also gonna be talking about some body oils as well because I love body oils and I love pairing body oils with my fragrances. This body oil by YSL, so it's, a, it's, so it's the YSL Libra body oil and I got this from Nordstrom. I do not know if it's still available. I hope that it is. As you can see, your girl has loved on it and a little bit goes a long way. So what I love about it is that it does smell like the YSL Libra fragrance. It's, it's a little different, but like the base of the fragrance um, or the base of this body oil is the same. But it also has really great skincare ingredients in it. So just to show you what it looks like on my skin, you don't have to use a lot, but it really helps to just hydrate your skin as well as you smelling like the fragrance and you don't need a lot either and it actually lasts really well on the skin I actually keep this in my bathroom um, on my little vanity in my bathroom so that when I just feel like it I can reach for it but this oh my gosh so so amazing this is my newest fragrance it's from Dior I do not know how to pronounce it in its full name but this one is just 
it is immaculate. So this is formulated without alcohol. It's literally water and flowers. That's it. So if you love a good, fresh, open field floral scent, you will love this one. And I love that it has kind of like a milky texture almost. Like, do y'all see that milky look to it? Um, but it blends into the skin. It is stunning. It smells so good and it lasts really well throughout the day. I love the packaging. This is the 1.7 fluid ounce size. So it's not the largest size, but I, I mean, I got this, I wanna say like October, I wanna say, I think it was October and I have used it a good amount. So like it has quickly become a, a favorite of mine and I know I'm gonna use it even more when the springtime comes. Cause it definitely smells more like a springtime scent. For me, I just wear it in the day and you know, that's how we get these. Okay, Tom Ford Rose Prick. I wanted this fragrance for a very long time and I wanted it initially because of the packaging, right? Well, when I finally smelled it in store initially, I was like, uh, I don't, mm -mm, I can't pull it off. So you know how every six to nine months, your, your um, olfactory senses change, your sense of smell changes. So I went back and I was like, I think I really want this. And I love this. This is the most warm, spicy scent that I own. It is so warm, it's so spicy. This is the smallest size, the 30 mils. I love the packaging of it. And it's, oh, it smells so good. You don't need a lot, okay? This is not for the faint at heart either. If you're somebody who does not like those like kind of strong scents, this, this is not gonna be the one for you. But I just use like one or two sprays. I love to wear this outside when it's cold because it keeps me warm because this literally elevates my body temperature. <laughs> and it's amazing, I love this one. So I actually wore this a couple times in the summer. But I really do pull it out this time of year now that it's cooler outside. But that is definitely, like Rose Prick is probably going to be like a long time standing favorite because I love to wear it um, either when I want to feel extra sexy or if I want to feel warm and cozy. Okay, two that I love this year are these two. So this is Tom Ford Lost Cherry and this is Dossier's version of it called Oriental Cherry. And I love both. So I received the Dossier one first by the brand Dossier. And um, from time to time, I do partnerships with them. So they'll allow me to pick out six fragrances and then I'll share them on my channel. And so I've received a lot of fragrances from Dossier. I have not kept all of them because for some, for I'll say it like this, I have enjoyed every Dossier fragrance that I have smelled, but I love others more than others. So the ones that I like, but like, but like I don't really have an attachment to, I'll give those to either my sister or my mom because they are fragrance lovers and everything smells good on them. But Oriental Cherry, I love this one. And I loved this one so much that I was like, okay, I do want to try Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. But you can see the notes on here. And what I love about Dossier's fragrances is that it smells, in my opinion, just like the original, but there's something different about Dossier's version that makes the fragrance last longer and smell better, in my opinion. No lie, this is not sponsored by them either, so this is just me and my own opinions. So, Oriental Cherry, oh, it's it's like, and, and, and just to let you know, I do, <laughs> I do like Dossier's version just slightly more than Tom Ford's version. Tom Ford's version, I really do love, but this one, it's just a little, let me smell them real quick. Okay, so I feel like Dossier's version is a little, it's a little more sweet, a little more sweet than Tom Ford's version. Tom Ford's version I received from Beautylish. They sent me this one and I, I really do enjoy it. So it just depends on like what mood I'm in. If I want something a little sweeter, I'll go for Dossier's version. Or if I just wanna wear, you know, Lost Cherry, for what Lost Cherry is, I'll go for this one. But just in terms of like length of time, I have used Dossier's version more than I have used Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. But just letting you know, if you wanna try Lost Cherry but don't wanna pay the price tag, the Dossier version is so good. So these two have definitely been a favorite as well. Now, Angel Share by Killian. Oh my goodness me, this fragrance, Oh my gosh, okay, so if, 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 if this is not the first time you've heard me talk about this, then you know, you're probably like, I already know what she's gonna say. When I first tried this, I was like, I am not woman enough. I am not bold enough to wear this fragrance. And then um, 
the salesperson was like, just buy it, take it home, see what you think. I took it home and y'all, I am a woman enough to wear this one. This is so beautiful and scrumptious. So it's a gourmand, you smell vanilla and you smell cognac, hence why the container looks like a, um, a liquor bottle. I love the way that it looks. I love the way that it smells. It's definitely a unisex fragrance, so men and women can wear it. But like when I wear it, I just feel so bold and empowered. Like that's how I feel when I wear this fragrance and I absolutely love it. I would say it's just as bold as Tom Ford's Rose Prick, but it's not as spicy. Oh, it smells so good. This is definitely like if I had to rank my, you know what, we'll, we, we will do that at the end. I will rank my favorites at the end. Not all of them, but like I'll rank like my top three from this year, maybe top five, depending on how I feel. But yeah, this definitely falls in that top five of the year. Highly suggest you getting it. It is worth every penny. Okay, so on to my number one fragrance, because I already know this is number one for me for this entire year has been... I know, I'm just so cliche. Mason Francis Kirk de John Baccarat Rouge 540. This one right here has stolen my heart. And it's funny because I last year I got the dossier version of it called Amory Saffron. And so when I, when I bought this one, did I buy this this year? No, I bought this the end of last year. So I bought this the end of last year and I asked my, um, Asked my niece, I was like, can you smell my fragrance? Because if if um you don't know, this fragrance is kind of like a mystery fragrance in that you'll smell it, you'll spray it on yourself, you'll smell it on yourself like the first couple of hours, and then you won't hardly smell anything. Like you might get whiffs of yourself, whiffs of the fragrance throughout the day, but it, you'll almost feel like, dang, I don't have anything on, but other people will smell you or smell it. So I went home and I was like, Gabby, do do um you smell this fragrance on me? And she was like, yeah, it smells like Riley. So I laughed because when I had Riley was right around the time that I got Dossier's version called Ambry Saffron and I wore this out. I wore it out. And so I chuckled and I was like, yep, it does smell like Riley because this was the only fragrance I wore the majority of last year. And so I loved this one so much that I picked up the original one and I love them both like it just depends on my mood if I want to wear ambery saffron because like I said with dossier's version there's a little to a little twist that makes them different but they smell very identical to the fragrances that they're inspired by so I it, it just depends on which one I want to pick up which will determine which one I wear but I recommend both and you know I've traveled with both like sometimes I've traveled with this one other times I've traveled with this one it just depends on my mood as to which one I go with but like for both of these fragrances when I run out I will get another like I said MF, MFK Baccarat 540 is number one for me this year hands down and I loved it so much I bought the corresponding body oil because why not you can always enhance your fragrances with the body oil so that's what I did and this one smells so beautiful it definitely is not as of it's not as strong as the original fragrance but if you wanted to you know try the fragrance you weren't trying to pay the price tag for it the body oil I think it was around $90 so a little more affordable than the original fragrance and you will smell like it like it does smell like it um, it's just not as um, the the sillage is not as intense as the original but yes absolutely absolutely love it number two Oh, I, I can't, I can't do that right now. I was about to say number two, but I can't say that's my number two fragrance. But another favorite of mine is all of my YSO Libras. I probably should have just talked about them when I was talking about the body oil. But this is the original scent. Um, this is the intense version, which I actually did buy the intense version this year. I got the original scent like last year. Um, love every one of them. And then the newest one is this one. It's called Le Libra, I want to say, or Le Parfum. All three of them are amazing. Now, if you don't like the original YSL Libra scent because it smelled too masculine for you, um, or you just didn't really like the lavender in it, try Le Libra or Le Parfum. I think it's Le Parfum. Yeah, it is, it's Le Parfum. Oops. Because this one is a little more sweet. Um, 
you smell more vanilla than you do the original base notes of the Libra family. So I would suggest trying this one because you might really enjoy it. This fragrance lasts all day and for it to be such a really beautiful unisex fragrance, but to also have like a nice hint of masculinity, it is just stunning. Like I love the masculine notes in this particular fragrance. Oh my gosh, I just realized there was an indentation right there. Do y'all see that? Did y'all know that? Or is it is it on all the fragrances? Or is that just me? Oh my God, look. I'm so not observant. I did not know that there was like a carving out where the Y is, y'all. Oh my goodness me. This just makes me happy. But I love them all. Now, Dossier's version that I have worn out as well has been Floral Lavender. Love Floral Lavender. You can see I did show this some love this year. And once again, this is inspired by, let me see. This one is, I feel like in terms of like the scent, I think it falls between the original scent and then the intense version. I love this one. Like I said, I love all of my dossier fragrances that you see here are the ones that I truly love and that I reach for quite often. So Floral Lavender is no exception to it. I think it's stunning. And like I said, I, I have used a good amount of this fragrance. So it just depends on my mood of which one of these four I choose because I'm happy no matter what. All right, then Floral Rose. So Floral Rose by Dossier is inspired by, okay, I had to look it up. So Floral Rose is inspired by Le Labo and it's um, Le Labo's um, Floral. I think, is it Floral? I think it's Le Labo's Floral that this is inspired by. This scent is everything. So top notes are gonna be Rose Center Centifolia, yeah, Centifolia, cumin, middle notes are vetiver, incense, cedarwood, base notes are musk, citrus, and amber. Oh my God, not citrus, citrus, citrus. I think that's what that word is right there. This is so good. I love, okay, I love rose scents. So when I first smelled this, I was like, oh, it's like, it, it is a spicy rose. That's how it smells to me. And it's so beautiful. So this is a scent that I feel you can wear year round because it's perfect for like spring summer but it's also kind of spicy enough to where you can wear it in the evening and i love to wear spicy scents also in the evening at night like it makes me even more spicy and i feel even more sexy and i feel like this one has a hint of sexiness as well so highly recommend this one i wore this one a lot in the spring and summer of this year like it was a go-to around that time of the year so then we move on to Citrus Peony. Okay, so I love Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is such a favorite of mine. However, this one does not last long. Like I put this on and then like three, three and a half hours later, I'm like, you're totally gone. And nobody can smell it on me either. So I love it, but it's definitely one that like disappoints me every time. However, Dossier's version, Citrus Peony, lasts so much longer and it smells just the same. So this is what I was reaching for earlier this year. I was recently gifted this one by a sweet friend that I was so grateful for. So um, this year, this is what I wore when I wanted to wear the fragrance of Blooming Bouquet. And in all honesty, I will probably still reach for this one when I wanna wear it and I want it to last all day cause it's just gonna last so much longer. So that's definitely another favorite of mine. Then we get into like a long standing favorite of mine, Fenty Beauty's Parfum. I know everybody's like, some people hate it, some people love it. I love it. I bought this one when it first came out and now you can buy it at Sephora. It's permanently on their website, which I'm really happy about. But I love to wear this fragrance around fall, winter. I'll wear it, honestly, throughout the year, but like I reach for it a lot more in the fall and winter because it is so warm. It's a beautiful, warm floral that has like an edge to it. And I think it smells divine. Oh my gosh, it smells so divine. In my opinion, this also is a unisex fragrance. I can see men and women wearing it and being very pleased with it. And this is, like I said, this is like one of those like evergreen fragrances, in my opinion. It's never gonna go out of style. I will always wanna reach for it. So like this one will always be in my favorites of the year because I will always reach for it. 
Okay, then we get into, let's do another MF, MFK fragrance, Gentle Fluidity. So <laughs> clearly, I'm almost ready to purchase the full size. I think I'm going to ask for this for Christmas because I love Gentle Fluidity. And it's weird because when I went in store to smell it, I was like, oh, this stinks. Like, why do people love this? And then for Nordstrom's anniversary sale, I purchased this um, fragrance set for her, and I highly recommend it if you want to try any of the MFK fragrances, um, but you want to, you know, give them a try before purchasing the full size. I don't know what this is. This has been amazing. I found so many other favorite favorites that I want to purchase because of this fragrance set. So, oh, oh. No one got hurt. <laughs> oh, I was scared. I was like, please don't break. Um, but I most definitely realized like gentle fluidity is definitely my next MFK purchase, whether it's me or Sean, it will be the next MFK purchase. So I can't get enough of this one. This one is truly such a great scent. This one is more warm. So I like to wear this. Um, I actually will wear this throughout the day. Like I will wear it during the daytime and I have honestly worn it more in the daytime, but it's warm enough to where I can wear it in the evening as well. So I love this one. I think it's great. Um, it definitely has been a favorite of this year. And then Valentino's Born in Roma. Definitely not a new fragrance, but I did receive it this year for Mother's Day, I wanna say. And, or did I purchase this myself? I can't remember, but Oh, this is, if you love sweet fragrances, you will enjoy this one. And typically I'm not, I don't like the most sweet fragrances, but I can appreciate a good formulated, um, rich, sweet fragrance. And that's how I would describe this one. It's so beautiful and I love, love, love this one. And then lastly, Mojave Ghost, which is this one, and Gypsy Water. Of the two, oh, I can't tell you which one I like more. Okay, I'm smelling them. I think I like Gypsy Water. Yeah, I think I like Gypsy Water a little more than Mojave Ghost, but Mojave Ghost I really enjoy. So once I run out of this, I will buy the full size. So by Rado Fragrances, they are so unique and so barely there, but there. So they're not one of those fragrances or to me, because I have a few. These two back here are also by, by Rado, um, and I bought them uh, to sample them before being able to try them in their full size or buying them in their full size. Um, and I purchased these off of Etsy. The places, the um, the dealer is very credible. Um, and I, I, I had a great experience with them. So if I remember, I'll leave their information down below. But I say that they're barely there, but there is because these are fragrances that are not gonna necessarily give you the longest lasting um scent on the body so both of these i would say i can get a good like maybe five hours of wear out of them before i feel like i can't smell them anymore so they're also really great fragrances to pair with other ones um or add like a body oil you know to allow for them to last longer but they're so unique and that's what i that's why i love byredo when i smell their fragrances i don't think of any other fragrance like i don't smell and go oh this reminds me of this and when i wear it i feel very rich i feel like i have some money in my pocket <laughs> and i feel unique like not everybody's gonna be smelling like this when I walk in the room. Both of these fragrances are very fresh fragrances, so I love to wear them during the daytime. I don't typically wear these at night. And they're really, I mean, they're really amazing. This one is, um, and of course I can't remember the name. This is the one Sunday, something Sunday. It smells like cotton candy. And when I first smelled it, I was like, okay, I am not trying to smell like no kid. It smells like cotton candy. However, let this joker dry down and wear this in the summertime when it's hot and you're outside. Oh my gosh. Talk about smelling like something edible because that's exactly what you're going to smell like in the most best way possible. So I actually thought I was going to purchase this over Mojave Ghost as my next Byredo full-size purchase um, because I wore this out in the summer. So you know what, this is an honorable mention because I wore this out in the summer. Like, I don't think I have hardly any left because <laughs> I went through this. So I, I probably will wait till next summer or like springtime to purchase this one. It's definitely not one that I would wear in the wintertime because it is so sweet and so candy-like. 
but the dry down is stunning. So I, I definitely recommend it. And this one, I forgot what this one is. Oh, I forgot. I'll put the name on the screen. This one, I thought I was gonna like it by the note description. And I I really don't like it at all. It smells, um, smells very old. Let me not use the word old. It smells very mature but in a non-complimentary type of way. Still a very unique scent. I can appreciate the chemistry of the notes, but it's just not one that I'll wear. So I'm gonna see if my sister wants this one because for me, I just, mm-mm, mm-mm. It like, when I, cause I just spray some in the room, it like takes my breath away and not in a good way. I almost forgot about Brown Girl Jane fragrances. Totally, like completely almost forgot them. So I picked these up from Nordstrom. These are beautiful fragrances. Riley is in the room, so excuse her already. Um, but these are really beautiful fragrances. So I have Bahia, Lamu, and Casablanca. Out of the three, like earlier in the year, I wore Casablanca a lot. Towards the end of this year, I've been reaching for Bahia, but they're all beautiful scents. They're very like dainty, um, dainty and like feminine fragrances. So I'm gonna have all three of them in here as favorites because throughout the year, I've worn all three at different times. The two I've worn the most has been Bahia and Casablanca. So definitely didn't wanna forget about these because I truly have been enjoying them. And Bahia has been one that I've been wearing a lot the past couple of weeks as well. So now to raking them. I already told you that Baccarat 540 has been number one for the year. So we've got that out. I would say number two would be all of my YSL fragrances, including the body oil because I did reach for them a lot throughout the year and including in that number two spot I'm also including floral lavender in all honesty even more than the YSL branded fragrances floral lavender was what I reached for the most so this all of these come in at number two and number three oh this is hard I mean I gotta have angel share in there Three would definitely be Angel Share. Four would be Gentle Fluidity by MFK. And then five, who's gonna win the fifth spot as most? Five, I would have to say Dime Beauty Seven Summers. That That's how I would rank them. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your two fragrances were for the year. I would love to know them because my fragrance collection has to continue to grow. This has been like, like fragrance is definitely a growing love for me and you will be seeing more fragrance videos from me next year. Um, so I hope that you enjoy them. So yes, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.